Live walkthrough series of San Diego Comic Con 2018. Hi, I'm Chris. This is Yellow Productions. I do trail guides that are fun and form of entertaining. And one thing I've learned at San Diego Comic Con is you can easily make a trilogy into a four-part series. So this is the last of my walkthroughs. In this video, I'll be walking through primarily the comic book vendors and the toy vendors, which is roughly aisle 1500 to 500. If you want to see other parts of the convention center floor, check out my other live streams. From Thursday, I hit the big boots. That's part one. Stop lying. And I stopped lying. I don't know what I'm lying about, but apparently he knows. Uh, and then yesterday I did Artists Alley and the independent publishers. So I'm going to go ahead and turn this around so you can see forward, not be looking at me the whole time. And we'll take a look at the floor again, starting on aisle 1500. This will be kind of slow shots. We'll take a look at the different booths. Take a look at what they've got in the booths. The art of Tiki. Tiki's really in this year. This is Last Gasp Mind Candy for the Masses. Over here we have McFarland from Jefferson, North Carolina. And they've got a book, The Forensic Comicologists, Insights from Life in Comics. This section I'll be walking through here at the beginning. Uh, these probably aren't comic publishers, but these are actually book publishers. There's a few vendors before we get there. Richard McCarley joining the live stream, once. and you saw my video once. What video did you see? Um, it was the same thing here. You went to um, Artist Alley. I did, just yesterday. That's yeah. right. And you can be in the video today. If you go home and check it out, you'll find yourself on it right there. All right, cool. Great to meet you. My name's Chris, and my channel, I'm not wearing the proper shirt, uh, on YouTube, uh -huh. you can look up Yellow Productions. I'll hand you a card. And so everybody can see what I'm handing out. It's right there, Yellow Productions. Here, do you want two? One for each of you? Yeah. That way they don't fight. There you go. That's awesome. Well, have a great rest of your Comic Con. Well, that was always nice to have some people find the videos useful. Right here we have popular naughty clothing and spice, which would be some naughty clothing. It doesn't look too naughty. This is Chronicle Books, which has books from the Game of Thrones, or Game of Thrones Tarot. So they've got books, and they've also got games. Listography. May the best list win. Maybe the Darth Vader statue or the Mr. Spock logic and prosperity box. There's a whole section of Star Wars books right here. Star Wars. 99 stormtroopers join the Empire. And this is an interesting booth back here. And by the way, on the live stream, Richard McCarley, Candy, Page, and Spidey fan, welcome to the live stream. Welcome back. Thanks for tuning in. It's good to see you again. Pop Minded by Hallmark. Hallmark is someone that I wouldn't really consider to be a Comic Con vendor. And actually, I'm kind of surprised any Hallmark stores are still in business. You know, they've been known for greeting cards. But now Hallmark is trying to get into the whole Comic Con collectible thing where they've got itty bitty plushes from The Walking Dead and from Star Trek. They've got Star Trek Christmas ornaments. And let's see. What have we got over here? There's some Batman, Superman, Riddle Me This. There's Beetlejuice. And of course, the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles getting in on the video game act, Minecraft. Here we have the art of Michael Golden. Signing now. Greetings. Buenos dias. Buenos dias, senor. 
am I part of the tour? You are part of the tour. There are 36 people on the live stream right now. Very cool. Well, all of you, welcome to the table of awesome. All right. Well, thank you very much. You are quite welcome. And if any of you want to check, make it down here. Good deal. And if any of you want to check out the table of awesome today or Sunday, he is on aisle 1500, 1509, right there, on the floor that you can't see. But it's 1509. That's where you'll come back for awesome. Thank you. Spidey fan said he just joined and liked the video. Excellent. Thank you for liking the video, Spidey fan. Oh, by the way, it's Saturday, so let's check out this main aisle here. This is the busiest day of the convention center, so you're going to see a lot of stuff here. And a lot of people, so I'm going to be walking pretty, pretty slow. There was a little live stream burp right there. Anyway, these are the book publishers. Random, Penguin Random House, Penguin Publishing Group. And they've got books for sale. Thank you. And they've also got Tom Clancy's Jack Ryan, which is Amazon's been promoting that for their new TV show. Uh, Quaker Oats says, is that Stranger Things? I don't know. Where did you see Stranger Things, Quaker Oats? Penguin Random, Random House has both sides of this aisle. They've also got Welcome to the World of Sonic. Next to Penguin Random House is Knopf Doubleday Publishing Group. And then here's Del Rey Publishing. Some of their books for sale, including um, How to Build Medieval Fortresses in Minecraft. There's a whole Minecraft section right here. I had no idea that there could actually be this many books published about Minecraft. And it wouldn't be Comic-Con without books published by George R.R. R. Martin, which of course is famous for inspiring Game of Thrones. <laughs> the world of lore and the passage. World of Warcraft books, The Girl in the Tower, Plague of Giants, uh, Spidey Fan says his friend subscribed, awesome, thanks Spidey Fan, Adrian asked how my day is going, my day is going very well, I spent the morning in Ballroom 20, so this also answers Quaker Oats question of if I've been to any panels, and I did. I spent the morning in the Black Lightning panel. It's the Black Knight. Awesome. I love it. Um, I spent the morning in Black Lightning, The Simpsons, American Dad, and Family Guy. And of course, people always ask if I've seen any famous people, and Seth MacFarlane was there for the panel, and I love Seth MacFarlane. Though he had to duck off early to go to the Orville panel. He's apparently doing like three panels here at Comic-Con. This is the Heavy Metal booth, the world's greatest illustrated magazine. Ryan Brown, cover artist, signing today. Sugar Cat asks if I have a Twitter. I do have a Twitter page. It is linked in the description to this video. One hundred soft. 
Paige asks, how was The Simpsons? The Simpsons panel was great. Matt Groening, the creator of The Simpsons, was there. And uh, The Simpsons is entering its 30th year. And The Family Guy is entering its 20th year. That's amazing. OC Girl wants to know, what is at 100 Soft? No, let me go back there. It's called 100% Soft. And the funny thing about 100% Soft is there aren't that many soft things. They've got like three t-shirts in the back. And then over here, they've got pins. And... Let's see, they've got pins, and they've oh, got patches, and they've got dad hats, and they've got some posters over here from Spirited Away, and a few stuffed animals there in the corner. OC Girl says they look cute. I think they're, they're almost like little dinosaurs back there. Asifa Hollywood, the world's first and foremost professional organization dedicated to promoting the art of animation and the people who create it. This booth is the Humanoids booth. OC Girl asked if I found the Toki Doki booth. I did. It was on the first day. I've tried to get in line twice or three times, and every time they tell me the line is full. And there was one other person saying that they've been trying to get in the line for two hours, and it's been full. The Toki booth is kind of crazy. Uh, Paige asked if I saw the Aquaman panel. I did not see the Aquaman panel. Eric just bought a Topher t-shirt. That's awesome, Eric. Uh, how did you see that advertised? Did you see it advertised, um, like, in a link on YouTube? Some people, it's like a new beta thing with YouTube where they're, like, um, putting some of the merchandise things down there. I'm curious. Uh, Trent Davis asked if I've bought something so far. Yes, I bought a uh, stuffed hamburger and a stuffed french fries. You will see them uh, in the next normally scheduled live stream that I do. There was a request to look up at the dealer's tag so you can look them up online. Absolutely. And if I go to one that you want me to go back to to find a website or something, I'll be happy to. Just let me know. Jake Wimberly asks if I got some in and out mm. Yesterday uh, for lunch, I did have a burger, but from a place called Lucky's. And today I had a burger from this place that's on the bay behind the convention center called uh, like Burgers and Bait. They sell bait for the fishermen and they also sell burgers. Interesting. So, so this one's kind of cool, this booth back here. Uh, this one's gotten a lot of buzz. It is the Con Rangers Merit Badges. And they've got merit badges right here you can see and these merit badges have things like overcrowded a hotel room put up with street preaching met a celebrity in an elevator got into hall age that's a good job and you've got the badge to prove it too All right so these are pretty neat if you are comic con veterans you might say hey i made it into hall h which people camp out the night before or you might say, I didn't get into Hall H. And then you get a sad one. That's pretty cool. Or maybe you ate an emergency hot dog. I actually bought a comic. Uh, OC Girl says uh, that I should stop by booth 832, NerdBot Con. And I need to say NerdBot Con. All right. I will. I see 800. So I'll be over there in a little bit. This is the League of Steam Emporium, selling steampunk inspired items. And this is kind of a booth selling cosplay, assuming it's cosplay that you want for steampunk. Yes, you did. 
And Paige asks, um, any booth selling costumes cosplay? There's pro there might be a couple that we run across as we walk. If we do, I'll stop and linger for a little bit. Quaker Oats asks if I've been to the Mattel panel. I did not go to the Mattel panel. This booth is cool. There's a zombie in the basement. Zombie Coutures. There's no such thing. You should be in bed. A movie has planted a Z in your head. Yes, perhaps I stayed up late. Or might it be the sweets I ate? Try as I might, the show eyes tight. I'm hit and scared of the sounds of the night. And then, of course, here, there's Bob, the angry flower, who just pulled down his flower. But that's really getting into the character. I love it. Bob, the angry flower, has a book on how to operate a chair. I saw that. There's a question of what camera I'm using. Uh, I'm streaming on an Android phone using a DJI Osmo Mobile 2 gimbal, and somebody said it's not as crowded as I thought it would be. I specifically picked this aisle to start on so that I could actually move around a little bit. It will get more crowded as we come up. Everybody says they're looking for cosplay. It's cool cosplay here. This is the Mega 64 booth, and they've got kind of uh, t-shirts, video game inspired. They also do kind of a line of gamer-influenced movies. Killer Pumpkins, all their art is inspired by pumpkins. This is good Halloween type art. This booth is Shark Robot, which is selling t-shirts. Lauren says she wants to go to Comic-Con, but I'm broke. Well, Lauren, you can go outside Comic-Con. There's plenty to do for free, actually, around the Gaslamp District. Dean Eagle, right here. Pokey Dad and Daughters asks if I've seen any cosplay that's not like anyone else. There's absolutely a lot of original cosplay here. Um, I can't think off the top of my head on how to describe it. I did see somebody who had um, basically like a, like a walking puppet. It's in my cosplay video, the best cosplay at Comic-Con from the first day. It was that, what, wolf or something from Guardians of the Galaxy? Rocket? Rocket the raccoon? He's a raccoon, right? This art is unlike a lot of the art at Comic Con, and this is much more styled art, wall art for you to put up in your home. This booth is called Noah Fine Art. Truck 80 asks, how much is a ticket to enter the Comic-Con exhibit hall? Tickets to enter the Comic-Con exhibit hall are $60 a day. And Legion Trooper says, as a disabled person, thanks for bringing me into the exhibit hall. My pleasure. This is Jungle Boy Productions. And there's Jungle Boy right there, who's now on camera. Hey. There are 76 people on the live stream right now. Oh, hi, 76 people. Yeah, here. Now they can see you. Wave again. Hi. All right, good deal. Yeah. So you have exclusive pins here? These are exclusive uh, Game of Thrones pins, officially licensed. Um, if you've been watching uh, Keeping Up, the Dragons, and then the White Viserion version, as well as the Night King. Very good. Deal. Night King's pretty scary. Night King is awesome. Yeah, that's cool. Good deal. Have a great rest of your Comic Con. Thank you, you too. Uh, Paige, I believe, asked about cosplay. 
her universe right here sells cosplay outfits. They don't really, they're not custom made, but um, they are definitely cosplay inspired. There was a question if I've run into any other YouTubers, not that I've personally met, but I've definitely seen a few people, um, actually not just a few, a lot of people recording things. No, I think most people shoot their video, they're on travel, they go home to edit it, so it takes a while, so you probably haven't seen it up yet. Eric97 says, I should do a Salt Lake City or Denver travel guide. If I, if I go there, I will. Ooh, famous monsters of film land. This guy looks cool right here. <clears throat> Sugar Cat asks how it smells in here. You know, the exhibit hall is actually really well ventilated and air conditioned. So the exhibit hall isn't that bad. Um, some of the panel rooms, they can get pretty bad. And in that case, it smells like a like old shoes or something. Comics and stuff right here. This is San Diego's largest comics and collectible store. Paige asks if I've ever done cosplay myself. I dress up on Halloween. I've got this costume that has a bunch of LEDs on it, but I've never come to Comic-Con in cosplay. Like these people are really dedicated and I don't know I could wear something like that to be so hot all day. But I do appreciate it that they do that. It's pretty cool. Thank you. Have a good one. Yeah. So this booth is definitely called Comics and Stuff because as you see they have comics but they also have stuff like old collectible Monopoly games Hello Kitty backpacks, um, Star Wars plates. <laughs> Eddie asks if there's a lot of San Diego Comic Con exclusive comics. There typically are. A lot of people asked about Rick and Morty, 20% accurate as usual. V Dub asked how long I'll be on today. I will be on today uh, maybe another half hour or something. I want to make it to the Marvel cosplay contest and then the Kevin Smith and then the Comic-Con Masquerade. And so all of those things um, will probably cut into my live streaming time. Sugar Cat says, Saturday is the biggest cosplay day. It absolutely is. <laughs> uh, Cyborg Man, it's really, really hard to stream the contest because of how far away I am from the stage. You won't be able to see much, so I'm going to record the cosplay contest and then upload the highlights. Here's a guy that looks kind of like Captain Picard. Eh, pretty convincing. This is the National Cartoonist Society. And so now we're entering the comic book vendors. This is Graham Crackers Comics, gold, silver, bronze age. And you can see how most of these are set up. They've got these boxes and you can check out the different names that you're looking for. And then they've got like examples of them on the boxes and people digging through them to see if they can complete that set they've been looking for. Layla says, approximately how many people wear costumes? I would say approximately one in 10. Ballpark number. <laughs> Somebody asked about this the other day. They said they didn't see any Tom and Jerry comics. Well, hey, that's where Tom and Jerry would be. 
Maybe some old Dennis the Menace. Ghostly Tales. The Road Runner. And some old comic book art before it's been colored in. This booth is called Big Wow Comics. Louis Novato says, you make me feel like I'm at the show. That's great. I'm glad to hear that. And Louis says, again, your channel is awesome. So thank you very much. Back here, you can see some pretty old comics. Captain America, Tales from the Crypt, The Incredible Hulk, Action Comics. Star Wars. <laughs> and to sort of set the comic book vendors apart, they have um, black carpet on the floor where the comic book vendors are. Back there you can see old Marvel comics, detective comics, Superman, Captain Marvel. And then over here, this is another booth that's selling mainly comic book art. But then obviously these uh, comics that are pretty expensive, they end up in the case down here. Silver Surfer, $250. What is the booth next door with the artwork on the wall? This one, Metropolis Collectibles. This booth has Dewar Comics. And they also have a really big Thor's hammer. You can get an official Batman helmet and cape from a long time ago. Bargain price, $700. As you can see, things, as they get older, they become more valuable. Legion Trooper says, no back. Okay. Oh, the art on the wall over there. Lewis said, do you do other live streams than con? I do a live stream most Monday nights talking about travel. Hi, how you doing? Hi, good, how about yourself? Is that an Osmo? It is an Osmo. Is it is an Osmo Mobile 2. I'm currently live streaming to YouTube with 113 people on. Yeah. I walked by your booth and somebody said, what's that booth with the artwork on the wall? Oh, this is Jack Kirby stuff, man. Are you kidding? <laughs> Jack Kirby. The Jack Kirby? King Kirby. Jack Kirby Museum. And www.kirbymuseum.org. www.kirby. Www and on Facebook. Yes. <laughs> I'm repeating it just so they can hear because the microphone's here. Oh. www.kirbymuseum.org, right? right? Right, and where is the cur where is it just online or is there a physical online. thing? All right, virtual. Very it's good. Virtual. Can I get a shot of your uh, Avengers poster over there? Yeah, cool. It's actually all the characters that Jack did. For Marvel. Wow, that's cool. These are all the characters that Jack Kirby did for Marvel. Kind of. Mostly. Mostly. <laughs> <laughs> Really cool. Fit. Yeah, because then somebody's going to say, well, you're missing. Yeah, absolutely. There will be someone. The kind of people that watch Comic-Con videos, you know there will be that one person there. Thank you very much, gentlemen. <laughs> Carol asks if I've eaten anything interesting today. I had a burger for lunch at this place called Burgers and Bait. They sell bait uh, at the fishing pier, and they sell burgers. And the burger was pretty tasty. 
And Luis says, thanks, I'm new here. Welcome. And then you're gonna go to row the 4,000th row. This is grahamcrackers.com with nine shops in Illinois. The largest comic store in the United States. 11 shops in the Midwest. Rico says, I should go to panel 4501. If that's a booth, I won't be hitting those numbers in this live stream. Um, in this live stream, I'm going to about 1500 to 500. Carol says, most interesting thing in Comic-Con, in your opinion, is? Oh most interesting thing it's all pretty interesting I mean just observing all the people that come here and frankly the thing that comic-con is is pretty interesting <laughs> here we'll go this way hey, go to like, uh... I know that's kind of a cop-out statement but uh, at the American Dad panel they did like a table reading where they had the voice actors for American Dad basically act out a scene in the room. And so that was pretty neat. This is We Love Fine for fans, by fans. They have a lot of cool fan-related merchandise. Pairing up with the Good Smile Company. Galaxy Press, representing the fiction works of L. Ron Hubbard. Which they have books like Battlefield Earth. Really? And there's Mr. Hubbard's picture right up there. Page is being a really good YouTube reminder and saying I should remind all of you who are new to the stream, uh, if you like it, give me a thumbs up. I would totally appreciate it. There's 125 people on and 33 likes. So if you'd smash that like button, I would appreciate it. And if you want to uh, keep in touch with my other Comic-Con videos and also travel guides that I publish, hit that subscribe button so you'll get notifications as I publish new videos. A lot of my other content is things like 10 things to know before you go to Singapore, the five best cheap eats in Tokyo, 10 free things to do in London, stuff that if you travel anywhere you'll find useful. Or somebody said they want to see the best hotels in Las Vegas because one of my more popular videos is the worst hotels in Las Vegas. Sir, I just want to say I love your hair and your beard. Thank you very much. So back there in the back, this is like a little eating area. Interesting, this year we see a poster for YouTube. You're all watching this on YouTube. YouTube is sponsoring the Masquerade this year, which is the costume contest. This is the first year that YouTube has been to Comic-Con. And then there's kind of a, a neat booth back here uh, that I, I won't walk to because I'd have to cross this great divide of the food court. But um, there's Mark's non-sport cards in the corner. And then there's this booth right here that sells Tribbles, all sorts of Star Trek Tribbles. If you're a Trekkie, you'll definitely know what Tribbles are. Mm -hmm. 
the likes have gone up to 41. So I see eight of you have pressed that like button. Thank you very much. If you are not one of those eight, please hit the like button. I would appreciate it. One more, 42, thank you. Alaska Robotics. And you can get a calendar with bears on it or a calendar with whales on it. Keep surfaces clean. Bacteria speed spoilage. Put that up in somebody's kitchen that you know is a little too messy. Uh, there was a question of if I can go to the Hasbro booth. I was in the Hasbro booth, Hasbro booth in yesterday's live stream. So check that one out. Uh, you can find the link in the description below of this video to my playlist. And the Hasbro booth uh, was in the live stream that I did at the end of yesterday. So you can check that out. Uh, Sugar Cat asks, how is the overall vibe? I would say the vibe is good. It is absolutely air conditioned in here, which is nice. And it's air conditioned pretty well. The exhibit hall is probably the best air conditioned place of most. So, if you see people walking around, they're like, it's This is Mysterious Galaxy. Eat, sleep, read. Rico asked how I came up with the name Yellow Productions. That's a great question. Uh, and the short version of the story is I drive a yellow car and I liked yellow. I liked having the yellow car. It was easy to find in a parking spot. Uh, so the name of the channel became Yellow Productions based after the color of my car. Joe F. said, was that Wonder Woman? I'm sure I've seen quite a bit of Wonder Woman walking around. Here's some Star Wars cosplay. <laughs> Grandpa Richard says he hits the like button before he watches the video. And for those of you who don't know, Richard McCarley, I think, is definitely one of the biggest Yellow Productions fans out there. He comments on everything. Thing and I love it. So thank you for the comments and the likes, Richard. And I'm sure there will be someone else on the live stream that says, I'm a bigger Yellow Productions fan. Uh, and uh, Paige Housen is also a great Yellow Productions fan and a great Yellow Productions promoter. So I appreciate all of you that share it with your friends, tell people to subscribe, tell people to like. It means a lot to me. Because frankly, that's why I do this. If nobody watched these things, then I'd be silly holding a camera around that Nobody watched. <laughs> and Paige Housen says she should call her channel Little Red Productions. Paige, is that because you have a red car? And Candy Thompson, biggest fan too. Thank you, Candy, and thanks for hitting the like. Nerd level 100. Comic-Con is definitely a nerd level 100 attraction. Layla says, I'm going to Comic-Con in England for the first time. Any tips? Um, I've never been to the Comic-Con in England. Um, so I'm not sure what transfers from this Comic-Con to that one. But I will tell you that there's a video in my Comic-Con playlist that I did last year about 10 things to know before you go to San Diego Comic-Con. And I bet a lot of those things would be transferable. Somebody may request to see Batman stuff. Some Batman comics. Batman and Robin, a lot of Batman comics. This, uh, this booth is interesting. This is Budzilla comics. A long bong ago in a galaxy high, high away, Bong Wars! Da 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 da! Starring Dank Vapor. Starring Dank Vapor. Who's trying to control the herb supply of Sativa Centauri. 
who's trying to control the herb supply of Sativa Centauri. I have 140 people on the live stream, and the microphone's here. Great. I'm the uh, writer-publisher, Vince Dugar, and Princess Leafa has the green Genesis crystals, and therein is your drama and chance. We have I work with Nathan Gomez, who's an animator in L.A., but we start it off just like the old school comic story. That's very cool. Long bong ago in a galaxy high highway. We also have the uh, Empire Strikes Back characters with the dealer droid C3.5, R2 Deal You, Yoga. Landau Clarissian was tricky, but I channeled Snoop Dogg, so he's low down, chill, hizzy. And you got Bonga Hit and the Buzzkill Troopers. So. Good deal. That's very creative. Thank you. Thank you for sharing it. Right. with me and everybody else here. Great, enjoy. Yeah, have a great rest of your Comic Con. Alyssa says 721 when I get there. Okay, I'm at 1,000, so I'll be there in a little bit. I'm gonna go over to 8 something. Uh, somebody says they want me to try to say his name. Uh, Abewale Onwu, wow, no, I can't do that. I need to hear, I need to hear you say it first. Hey, Classy Cannabis is on and says Bong Wars. That is totally appropriate, Classy Cannabis, with a name like that. Oh, this is like drag Deadpool right here. I love it. Yeah, nice, drag pool. And there's Chun Li and Ryu cosplay. Eight two nine racer asked if I stopped by the Mattel booth. Uh, yes, I did. It has Hot Wheels and some other stuff in it. It is in one of my previous Babe. live streams. Babe. more of the toy variety here. We've got some stuffed animals. Battlestar Galactica. Totoro. Ghostbusters. Doctor Who. Big Hero 6. Uh, there was a question of any exclusives that I want to buy. I don't really buy that many exclusives because I don't like to stand in really long lines. Uh, and there was a question of what's my favorite fandom. Um, I mean, probably my favorite like show is Star Trek, uh, but my favorite fandom is probably Star Wars, just because I love all the cosplay that goes around Star Wars. <laughs> and there was a question if I will live stream the um, cosplay contest. I will record that and show that later. Some cool art. How are you doing today? Great. I am on YouTube uh, with 155 people on the live stream. Hey, everybody. Here, now you're on camera. Hey, everybody. Meet the artist. Meet the artist. Yeah. Hello. <laughs> I like your art. Thank you. Great colors. Have a great rest of your Comic Con. Bye, everybody. <laughs> It's the DJI Osmo Mobile 2. This is cool. This is Genesis Comics. They have a big thing back there and a big dog and a cat. Like, 
Daniel asks if I'm meeting any famous people at Comic-Con. Uh, I don't really do the signatures and things like that. Seth MacFarlane, one of the panels, was on stage, and Matt Groening in The Simpsons. We had a couple people find Waldo. That's great. You guys probably see more stuff than I do. There's just like so much stuff to see at Comic-Con. This is Marvel officially licensed jewelry. Hello. And here's a whole bunch of Winnie the Poohs. This booth has a ton of stuffed animals. Uh, Paige says, where did you get your gimbal and for how much I'm in the market for one? My gimbal, as you heard a number of people ask, is the DJI Osmo Mobile 2. I think I bought it off Amazon, like 150-ish dollars. It works pretty well. There was a request for 721. Okay, I'm walking that way. OC girl, are you still on? Can you remind me of the 800 booth to go to? Hey, what is it, see you then? Haha! This <laughs> this is booth 721. Hello there. Thanks. I have a live stream on YouTube with 153 people on it, and somebody said they wanted me to stop by your booth. It's made out of recycled material. This is very neat. And he's, he's, you said he was 42 and lives in Hayward, California? That's very cool. Well, thank you very much. I think he was trying to sell some sell some a He paid a bunch of money for a lot of Uh, there was a question of if I'm attending any panels. I attended some animation panels this morning. Simpsons, Family Guy, American Dad. Uh, I'll be attending um, Kevin Smith later, the Comic-Con Masquerade. This is Magic the Gathering cards. I used to be a huge Magic the Gathering fan. It's amazing how pricey some of these cards get. And Paige asked if I'm going live tomorrow. I will likely not be going live tomorrow, only because I think I'll have walked around pretty much everything there is to walk around by then. Some more jewelry here. And uh, Sugar Cat, reminding everybody, if you're new to the live stream, I totally appreciate it if you push that like button to let me know you like it. And if this is your first time here to Yellow Productions, you should definitely consider subscribing. I publish new travel videos a couple times a week.
There's a question of if I will be broadcasting for Comic-Con 2019, too. Uh, assuming I can get tickets, yes. This will only turn on by tapping the place button. Cover set. Mr. Cooler War, 157 to 160. Oh, yeah. Marty Adams? Yeah. Yeah. Got it. Yes, please. Got it. I love the art at this booth, because it's all cats. Look at this. This is cool. This, to me, is what art at Comic-Con is made of. Cat and Doctor Who, Star Wars cats, Deadpool cat, Doctor Strange cat, the Cat Bus cat, the cat as Harley Quinn. That's neat. Oh, there's a guy in red over there. He's Radioactive Man. Uh, he was asking questions at the Simpsons panel today. There was a question of who is Kevin Smith. Kevin Smith is a director of movies like Clerks, Mall Rats, Chasing Amy. He's a pretty funny guy. This is uh, art on metal. <laughs> Luis Novato says, what is the like button? Luis, it's the button that looks like a thumb. Like the thumb up button, that's the like button. David Simic joined in from Serbia. Hi, David. Thanks for tuning in. Miss Vita says, I'm from Vegas. Can't wait until Comic Con come here. Ah. Uh, hopefully, for me, it doesn't because I like it coming to San Diego. There's been a lot of debates about whether Comic Con's going to move because this convention center is just too small for it. And yes, Las Vegas and Los Angeles are two of the places that have been discussed the most because they have the biggest convention facilities. I just don't think it would be quite the same thing if it was in Casinoville rather than um, San Diego. It definitely takes on a vibe of the place that it's in. Here's some fans. For fans, if you're a fan and maybe you're hot, you can pick up a fan. I'm gonna pass through here. There was a question of how many conventions I've been to. Um, I go to Comic-Con and WonderCon as kind of the main pop culture conventions that I go to, but I've been going to Comic-Con for at least the last 20 years, I would say. This booth has a lot of toys. This is Board Incorporated, art from Rick and Morty, Powerpuff Girls. We're trying to get pictures of that. Yeah.
Paige asks if I remember my first convention. Um, I'm going to say yes. Uh, I was playing Magic the Gathering at the time. And, uh, but I played in like some other collectible card tournament when I was here. And I think I did fairly well. This is GameRave.com. Video games. Buy two, get one free. Of course, it's not new video games. It's like old video games. And I've got all our various cartridges up there. And collectible cards. There's a question of where is Topher. This place has way too many people for Topher. He doesn't want to get anybody's grubby little mitts on him, so he's chilling at home in air conditioning. There's a question of who is Topher. Topher is my stuffed panda that travels with me. If you're new to my channel, if you check out my channel trailer, which just if you go to my channel after this video is done, it should auto-play, and you'll see exactly who Topher is. This is pretty cool art. And I'd show you a name for that booth, except he doesn't have one. I did, actually. I'm coming in. Yeah. I've got 156 people on the live stream on YouTube. What would you like to tell them about your selection of comics? Nuclear Comics, double Eisner Award nominee store out of Laguna Hills, California. We have been open for 23 years and we carry the widest selection of comics from San Diego to LA County. Very good. Yeah. And we've been doing Comic Con for 17 years. That's this cool. Is our 17th year Comic -Con. That's cool. Yeah. Where in Laguna Hills are you located? Right off the 5 freeway at Alicia. Oh, cool. Literally, right? I could, it's so close to the freeway, so conveniently close to the freeway, I could see the freeway from my front door. That's awesome. I will check you guys out. Cool. And if you guys are in Orange County, which is South Orange County, which is south of Los Angeles and north, north of, San of San Diego, then check out Nuclear Comics. Sugar Cat want me to ask if you surf. Uh, I body surf. You body surf. Yeah. Where do you body surf? Crescent Bay. Nice. Very good. Thank you very much. Sure. <laughs> Virginia asks if I've seen any Firefly merchandise. Mm, not yet, but then again, I haven't been looking, so that doesn't mean it doesn't exist. Uh, somebody asked if there's some buttons that I can pick up. I'm not sure I'll be making it over to that booth before I have to go to the cosplay contests. Boy, this guy's a character right here. Here, we'll give you one as a bonus. Sell all my Beanie Babies here you and go. I'll be back. Sell your Beanie Babies and come back. Tiny, give us no. some money. Forever. You owe me a dollar. I will. I'll be Radioactive back. Radioactive man. Thank Hi. you, sir. Yes. Nice. Yes. <laughs> Flea Geek asked if the cosplay will be live. No, I will record the cosplay and edit it. So you'll see those show up on YouTube tomorrow. He was in here with the bodyguard. And this particular live stream will likely be the last of this year's Comic Con live streams. Because at this point, I've covered most of the floor. Uh, Fleet Geek asked 3D then. Mm. No, because 360 is really hard to edit and you only really want to see what's on the stage. So the best stuff is what's forward and I need to zoom in and use a good zoom lens. Uh, Telesto Life asked if I'm cosplaying. I am not cosplaying in it.
David Simic says, I've heard that there's a Cartman escape room. There is, it is outside the convention center. Uh, they took over like one of the restaurants to do for that super long line. So I've not been inside the Cartman escape room. Here's a really big, big Chewy, big old Chewy, along with magic cards. And there's the little Porg. <laughs> Kelstar, you're right. I am a perfect ringer for Chris. I could say I come to Comic-Con as a YouTuber, but it's totally a cop-out. This is the Draconis art. Timeless. This is another steampunk booth here, Kelly's Heroes, with some neat hats in the back. Interesting, there's a booth over here called the Massage Booth. What's at the Massage Booth? <laughs> People who are giving massages interestingly enough. See something new at Comic-Con every year. And if you're curious, a 15-minute massage is $20. Lewis says he's out. Thanks for sharing the con. All right, Lewis, I hope you subscribed. I hope to see you on some future videos. <laughs> Sugar Cat asks if I could live stream while giving a massage. Uh, Paige, if you're still on, you want to know about cosplay con costumes. Here's one that sells wigs, epic cosplay wigs. Luis said he did, so great. I will see you in a future video. <laughs> there was a question about how I was able to get tippet, tickets. Yeah, tickets are hard to come by, but I've been going to Comic-Con for like the last 20 years, so I've been lucky and just been able to pre-register every year. This is another steampunk booth. <laughs> and they don't just have goggles, but they have doggles, AKA dog goggles. Good, how about yourself? Uh, yeah, yeah, I got 158 people on the live stream on YouTube. Cool, hey guys, come on down, have fun at the con. Ste Watch this guy's YouTube, okay guys? Steampunkfortress.com. Yeah. And he's over by the Blizzard booth, if you find Blizzard in the corner, if you're looking for steampunk stuff. Awesome, thank Thanks, you much. Guys, Dorklandia. I assume these are dorky looking characters. I consider myself kind of a dork. Oh, you can also get a Mexican wrestler mask here. Go by your father. The one I heard And an advertisement for WhedonCon. Okay. Oh, I figured this story. Okay. I've been following Deadpool here for a little while. Here's some custom mini ears. And here's some pandas. There was a question of if you can bring pets into Comic Con. Uh, I think they only allow um, legitimate, what's it called, pets that are um, like assistance pets. Because this place is very busy. And I'd worry that any pet would get stepped on. Service animals. Thank you, Fleet Geek.
service pets. Thank you, Kevin Daniel. Miss Vita says, I'm seeing a flea market of Comic-Con. <laughs> That's pretty funny. I like it. All right, and now here, aisle 400. This is the end, as I said I would be. So this live stream walked from 1,500 to 400. If you were new to my live stream, this is the first time you've seen it, you'd like to see more of Comic-Con, then check out my other live streams. I've got live streams of the big booths like Marvel and DC and Hasbro. I've got live streams on the independent artists uh, in the artist alley and also the small press. I've got a playlist down below that's my San Diego Comic Con 2018 playlist. If you enjoyed this live stream, please give it a thumbs up. That's that little thumb up button. If you are new here, click the subscribe button to stay tuned for new videos. This will be my last San Diego Comic Con 2018 live stream for this year there will probably be a couple more recorded videos that will be coming up in the matter of the next few days I am now going to the Marvel cosplay contest which I'm gonna record and so I won't say goodbye because I'll see you in the next video there was a last question if I'm doing a live stream this Monday it will not be this Monday because I need to rest a little bit uh, and then I'll go and the last thing I'm gonna leave you with this guy walking behind it's Mario riding Yoshi that's really great cosplay all right see you guys in the next video.